Good afternoon. Here's the national news from our studio, BGI TV, Baba Bakere Ibon TV. I am yours faithfully, Mori with Repeat of the World. First, are the major headlines for the national news. I mem my mom for pens. If you are jealous, do yours too. Guy confesses, full is coming. Fake lawyer in EFCC net over alleged forgery impersonation. Policeman suspended for 25 years for arresting robbery suspects. Carpenter, panel beta, jailed six months for stealing gold. Ogo Muslims commend Governor Abiodun over signing of Ogo Chieftaincy Acts. And lastly, LG Walker arrested for forceful sex with a 10 year old girl to death in Delta. Now, the news and details. There is a trending video on social media currently, which is making a lot of people feel shocked. A young man confessed to marrying, taking the life of his mom for a bench. The video saw the yet to be known gentleman who is a Ghanaian brag about his car, saying he just bought it and that he got the cash from uh, taking the life of his mom. He said those who are jealous of him should also do the same, so as they can equally acquire the same right he now owns. A lot of streets thinking people are very much heartbroken and cruising, causing life out of you. Below are some details for more stories online. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arrested a fake lawyer, Adekola Adekeye, over alleged forgery of documents to perpetrate fraud. Spokesperson for the commission, Mr. Wilson Uwujaren. In a statement on Thursday in Abuja said that Adekeye's travel began when he came to the commission's office in Lagos to secure bail of a suspected foster. The suspect on January 11, 2022, came posing as a lawyer to secure the bail of a suspected foster who was in the commission's custody in Lagos. However, Nemesis caught up with Adekeye when investigators dug in further to verify the document intended to secure the bail of a suspected foster. A sat at his residence further on hitted several forged documents dating back to 2005, including forged Lagos State University and Quara State College of Education documents. He also claimed to be the owner of AA Emmanuel and Co. Chambers, which he had been using to perpetrate frauds until his arrest. He will soon be arraigned in court, Wajari said. He said that the commission will ensure that such imposters who use fake documents to procure the bail of suspects were made to fit the wrath of the law. Moving further on the national news, our young boy Hilary Okorie from Abia State admired police and dreamt of becoming a police officer. With no one to guide him on the path to achieving his dream, Okorie set him for a job as a clerical officer with his ordinary level certificate at the National Directorate of Employment. While at NDE, Okori's earnest prayer was to get the opportunity to serve his country in uniform as a policeman one day. The opportunity, however, came sooner than, ex than expected, as his application into the police academy was accepted a few days to his 22nd birthday. Relieving the excitement when he received official confirmation of his enlisting into the police academy, Okori, now 52, said, I have always had a deep love for police. When the opportunity came, I applied, and after the interview, I was accepted. It was a dream come true. I was overjoyed, and my family had a big celebration. After his training at the Police Academy, Okori joined the police on May 13, 1992, as a cadet inspector. He was posted to Bauchi State Command and later to Combat Division. In 1996, he was transferred to 4 CID Annex, Alagbal, Lagos, and assigned to a team of the Federal Anti Robbery Squad. Recalling his role and experience in the team, Okori said, I was relatively young in the police then, so I had to honor story those in my team. My task was usually to beef up security when an arrest is to be made. It was really a learning, learning start for me then, when, which I was so proud of. Everything seemed to be going well for Okori until he was co-opted into a major operation to arrest a suspected high profile robbery suspect in Delta State. The operation went well until the suspect, which alleged connivance of some unknown security operatives, turned the case against him and his team. It became a case of a hunger being haunted, giving details of how the operation was conducted and how his team was eventually framed 
for robbery by the suspect whom they had gone to arrest, the courier said. In 1997, the then commissioner of police in charge of federal anti-robbery squad assigned a case to my team leader, CSP Mohammed Laden. Laden further assigned the matter to an ASP and two inspectors. I was later co-opted into the team. We were given an official vehicle with a petition and instructed to go to Delta to arrest a prominent chief named Hotel who was then wanted by FSAS and other security agencies for armed robbery and fraud. Still more to come on the national news. Our Joss Central Area Court sitting in Kasuo Nama on Thursday sentenced the carpenter for Zo Samuel and the panel beater Peter Adam to six months imprisonment for stealing a goat worth 30,000 naira. The presiding judges, Ghazali Adam and Isent Donanan, sentenced Samuel and Adam after they pleaded guilty to the three counts of criminal conspiracy, criminal trespass, and tax. The judges gave the convict an option of fine 10,000 naira each. The judges also ordered the convict to pay 15,000 naira each as compensation to the complainant, Ma Kunju Chindero. Earlier, Prosecution Counsel Inspector Ibrahim Gokwet told the court that the case was reported at the Larantou Police Station by Chindero, who resides at Gamma Jugo Zaria Road Jobs on December 10, 2022. Thank you, Pardon 2021. It said that the convict person transfers into his compound and stole his female goat worth 30,000 naira. Gokwet said that uh, during the police investigation, the court confessed that they slaughtered the goat. The police prosecutor said that the offense contravened the provisions of sections 58, 3, and 327 and 27 of the Play 2 Panel Code of Law. The bill, among others, seek to respect the fundamental human right and religion of traditional rulers in the state, especially the ways they will be laid to rest. In a statement by the Wiley head of TMC in Ogo State, Dr. Abdelazak Obumoye, described the assent of Governor Abiyoro to the bill as timely and needful. Following the recent passing out of numbers of traditional rulers in Ogo State, it is high time that the bill re-emphasize the constitutionally recognized rights of traditional rulers to have the liberty to profess and practice the religion they so wish. With this new law, it will give level playing ground to all well-meaning Ogo Indians who are qualified to become king in the state to wholeheartedly accept the responsibility without fear of being compelled to practice religion other than the one he profess. By this new law, we expect traditional rulers who profess traditional religion to be buried according to the rights of such religion and those who practice Islam or Christianity be buried accordingly. Henceforth, the controversy over the ways traditional rulers will be buried in a state has finally been laid to rest. Governor Abiyonu has set the pace for all the state governors in Nigeria to adopt with respect to the rights of traditional rulers to religion while alive and after their demise. We must also commend the State House of Assembly, led by Right Honorable Olakunle Oluomo, for their doggedness in giving legal teeth to the issue. Before we call it a wrap on the national news, here comes a story. Platform time to gather down, a teenager was allegedly um, having forceful sex to death at a hotel in Isela Uku, a near North Local Council of the State. Operatives of Delta State Police Command have arrested a staff of the State Local Government Service Commission, Mr. Unosun Chuka, for forcefully having kind of knowledge with a 13-year-old girl until her death. It was further learned that a suspect surrendered himself to the police after weeks of having forceful sex with Miss Joy Mwabwezi or Noah, who allegedly bled to death. Platform Times also gathered that two cook and confessed to the crime before he was detained at the State Criminal Investigation Department, SCID, in Asaba. The disease was reportedly still at FMC Mortuary, Asaba. The chairman of the State Child Welfare Implementation Committee, Mrs. Kebe Aga, said the committee was waiting for police report to proceed to court. She said when the case of death of a 13-year-old victim named with El got to us, our team of investigators were sent to gather information for the committee. We have done our report, now are awaiting the police to commence legal action. Spokesperson for the police command, DSP, Bright LFA, confirmed the story. That was the national news from BGI TV. But before we go, let's quickly have a recap of the headlines. I took the life of my mom for Benz. If you're so jealous, do same. Guy confesses. 
fake lawyer in EFCC net over alleged forgery impersonation. Policeman suspended for 25 years for arresting robbery suspects. Carpenter, panel beater, jailed six months for stealing gold. We also brought to you Ogo Muslims commend Governor Abiodun over signing of Ogo Chieftaincy Act. And lastly, LG Walker arrested for forcefully having sex knowledge with a 13-year-old girl to death in Delta. Thank you for watching. You can link up for more updates on our YouTube channel, Baba Bagede Imo TV. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell option or on Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adibayo. You need to like and follow the page for you to get updated with our broadcast. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of your goods and services and products, coverage of event and function, the phone number streaming on your screen is the direct number to call. Thank you for watching. Thank God it's Friday. I am yours faithfully. Moviri Rebida Lawal.